That's a new one. How we doing? Great. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that that's uh, it's indicative of who we are. You know, I think that, uh, you know, a lot of this game was won tonight uh, early in the week for us. You know, I'm really proud of the way the guys came in and uh, prepared early on, on Monday. You know, we went in there on two, uh, 1230 on Monday and I told them that this was a Wednesday or Thursday and I think they bought into that and uh, continued to to invest time in a short week, and, and I think it showed. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that that's it, once you can see us start to, to strain to get the first first down, um, good things happen. You start to hit some complimentary plays. You get to some opportunities to to run some things that you've been trying to set up or that marry with with one another. So, really. Uh, and that, that's what it comes down to, and that was a huge key for us. And I, and I you know, guys did that. Guys, guys went out there and executed on third down, and then led to uh, more opportunity. Um, you know, each and every week, we just kind of have to try to, you know, figure out ways to to move the football offensively and, and defensively. You know, as long as you don't give up big plays and. You know, stop the run, which was a huge key this week. Um, you know, give yourselves a chance. So, you know, I felt like guys executed. We protected uh, the quarterback for the most part. Um, you know, there's a lot of really good things. Player, give all, you know, give all the credit to the players on a short week. You know, we were, we were the more physical team on a short week. Well, it was huge. You know, I think that, uh, you know, just showing them the, the Washington game and them going into Philly. On the road, and and their third down conversions, and the the length that they had to gain on third down, and the success, and the ability to to sustain drives, uh, help them win that game, and you know that was something that we tried to show them and explain to them of you know what you have to do on the road. How much of a shot in the arm was the uh, Well, being able to you know progress through and, and and hold up in protection long enough to move the ball downfield, it's you know. It was great, you know. Traylon has to have that for us, and and getting him going. Um, you know, I thought everybody that played, you know, contributed and helped, um, you know, in a huge way. Yeah, I mean, you know, move the ball down the field and go up in a 50-50 ball uh, and, and come down with it uh, in a critical time was was great. He did. He did. He threw threw some you know really nice passes, and you know we gave him some time to to progress. Um, you know I'm sure he'd like to have that one back there to Traylon, um, but you know give them credit for for getting out of there. We thought we had something, and you know it didn't end up happening. Well, I mean he's only been out there for for a little bit. You know we haven't had that much practice, and. Um, you know, with just the way that the week came, and uh, you know, I would say that mistakes that that were made um, during the week uh, were corrected, and uh, that that's the most important thing to me about with Traylon was that uh, he put a lot of time in from the time that we left uh, Nashville until the game started of working with Rob, uh, making sure that those things that uh, came up throughout the week were were corrected. So, you know, give him all the credit for fixing those things and. And, and understanding that mistakes are okay in practice as long as you get them corrected. I thought it was executed perfectly. I had been lobbying for that one. I would get that one called as soon as we could. What do you think made the difference in so many chunk plays? Protection, you know what I mean? The ability to protect and, you know, scheme and, and progress through. And you know, guys made some plays. Um, uh, probably, you know, when when you can can protect the quarterback and he can, you know, get some seams. I thought that you know, there was some good design. I thought the execution was good. So that's what happens when you're able to get X plays. It's either, you know, probably a little bit of both. There's a good design and then there's great execution. Earlier in the game, Were you trying to call a timeout? I thought I did call a timeout. Yeah. Just didn't give it to me. They weren't set, but that's never getting called. So, give them credit. They went fast and made a play. Was the play not, oh, sorry, not, was that 
better time out than you call because you're playing well. On defense? What I don't know. I, we we didn't we didn't uh, have the right look. I wanted to call a timeout. I think we need it. I think we need it. I think there's some guys that have been um, playing through a lot of stuff. Um, you know, there's a great demand that, that gets put on these guys and. I know that they're looking forward to the rest. They've earned it. They've, they've definitely earned it. And you know, we have to come back on, on a you know, holiday week and, and make sure that we're prepared um, you know, to play great against Cincinnati. I think that you know, our coaches do a fantastic job of being ready to go. I think we give them a great schedule, and I think they respond, and they they trust the schedule that we have for them. You know, I think that they probably looked at me like I was nuts when we were running at four o'clock on Monday, doing striders and doing things and lifting to try to get the soreness out. But I think after, you know, the way they feel on a short week, I think they trust us. I Man, I think he handled it great. You know, there was some some plays that we had, whether it was the wildcat and silent snap and. You know, I'm sure there are going to be some plays in there after I haven't watched it, you know, but you know, put up a lot of yards, and that starts with the center. So you know, hopefully we can get Ben back and see where things go. Well, I mean, I hope so. I, I mean, I hope so. I think, um, you know, that's the plan. We had talked about just, you know, if there's a three and out or if there's mistakes, um, you know, everybody just coming over, figuring it out, um, having great body language, great demeanor. You know, guys are getting up on a bench. We're kicking off, and, you know, offense is getting up. Everybody's into this thing, and you know, I really appreciate just the everyone's commitment to the team. Uh, it was good. You know, I think, um, you know, we took advantage of some opportunities there. That first third down really got us going. Um, you know, he did a good job of, of beating his man, had an opportunity down the field. Uh, you know, he's been doing some good things for us all year. And you know, hopefully we can build build on this, get some momentum going. Obviously, he's a talented player and, and made big plays for us. So we want to keep him going. Yeah, I was really an alert, you know, through that progression. Um, backside safety played low and, um, and gave us some space there um, across the field. So... Um, you know, this is a good good opportunity uh, once that backside safety played low. What helped you guys get in a rhythm just in general as far as the passing game? It felt like it was one of your better and more efficient performances so far. Guys are making plays. You know, we had opportunities. Um, and took advantage of some underneath stuff that they were giving us. And then when we had opportunities down the field, took advantage of those as well. So I'm um, just proud of our guys the way they came out and competed. Um, you know, played efficiently the entire game. I mean, we came in, wanted to be the more physical team. I thought we were um, up front. Guys came with a purpose, started the game that way, and then carried it through throughout the game. So what's the state of the lack of separation by the receivers? Today, it seemed like they were constantly running free in the secondary. What was that say about the play design, the execution? Yeah, I felt like we had a great plan coming in, and then it was uh, it was good execution on top of that. You know, guys. Uh, that I have a lot of confidence in. Um, you know, we, we saw a lot of contested catches too, right? Where uh, some underneath things where the coverage was good and, and was able to, to give them a chance with the ball and strong hands catches and, and made the play for me. So, you know, you see those things happen. It gives the quarterback a lot of confidence to, to cut it loose in those guys' direction. I was able to do that and, and they made plays for me. Yeah, no doubt it wore, wore them down. Um, you know, that's the way we wanted to play. We wanted to come in, be physical, establish the run. Uh, they did a good job. They didn't give up the big run. You know, they made us kind of earn it uh, and, and keep just plugging away. You know, we're getting four, we're getting five, getting three, getting six. Um, but we stayed stayed with it. And when we had opportunities to uh, to hit them down the field, we did. Uh, we were able to, to stay, sustain drives, keeping ourselves in third and manageable, uh, and converted a lot of those. So, um, you know. That's exactly the way we wanted to play, and we came out and did that. Is it significant that you guys were able to win kind of outside the, the 
formula that carries you so often and will that help you in, in the long run? I mean, the formula was still there. We still ran the ball a lot. I don't know how many rushes we had, but um, we still still handed it off a lot. So, um, you know, I think uh, I think we played played the game the way we wanted to play. Yeah, we're a resilient group. We've said it all year. Um, we faced a lot of adversity, and, and this week was no different. Coming on a short week, banged up, had some guys out, and, and came out. You know, we set our intentions on Monday. We came into the building uh, after a hard-fought game on Sunday. Um, really got ourselves ready to go early in the week. Set our mind uh, that we we're going to come up here and, and win this game, and we did exactly that. In the building, daily, Ryan, what have you been seeing from Ryan when you kind of build up to the point so far? Uh, he's consistent. You know, he's he's, he's eager to learn. He, you know, he's a young player, eager to learn. Uh, I think his confidence is growing, which is huge. Um, just want to keep keep progressing him and and. Um, you know, let him continue to make plays like like he has been. I think it's huge. You know, anytime you can you can make some plays, it gives you a lot of confidence as a player. So, um, you know, I felt like that was coming early on in the year um, before Indy when he, when he went out. Um, then now he's getting back into it. So, I'm definitely uh, definitely happy with with the way he played the game. Made some big plays for us. He's obviously a talented player, and I want to keep him going. Uh, I didn't get a great look at it, uh, but it was successful. So, yeah, that's all that really matters. I don't know exactly. You know, I think uh, at the end of the day, it's tough, right? It's tough mentally. It's tough physically to turn the page from the last one and, and get yourself ready to go on, on a quick turnaround. And, you know, like I said, on Monday we came in, set our mind to it that there's going to be no excuses. We're going to find a way to, to get yourself mentally and physically ready to go and come out and win, and we did that. Yeah, I don't know. You'd have to ask, uh, have to ask them. But, um, you know, we were going to have to get a first down there to, in order to run out the clock, right, with the, with the clock stopping at the two-minute warning. So, um, you know, I had a one-on-one -on -one look out there with Traylon and was able to, uh, to give him a chance, and Traylon made the play. So I'd love to see it. Yeah, we want to be a balanced attack, right? We're going to run the football. We're going to we're going to be physical, and then um, you know try to try to take advantage of some opportunities that arise from that in the pass game. You know, I don't think the formula is any different than it's been for the past four years. You know, be physical, establish the run, and uh, and you know have have opportunities in the pass game off of that. Yeah, it'll be weird. I'll be resting, you know, trying to heal up. I think our team will find a way to play no matter when the next game is, but uh, the, the extra rest will be nice. You know, no doubt we were, we're a little banged up, like always. Uh, you know, had some guys out, had some guys banged up tonight, so um, definitely want to take advantage of this extra rest. How this is your last game of the year. How important is having a game like that? We, we know where you were after the Bengals game last year. Obviously, that's going to be something next. You know, how important was it to be able to go into that week you know, in a redemption-type situation against us? Yeah, it's last year. It doesn't has no effect on this year. But um, to come out and, and get a big uh, road win in, in a playoff environment, a cold game. You know, I'm proud of our, our way our guys came out, competed, and found a way to win. So at the end of the day, you know, it gives our offense, our team, a lot of confidence to to you know keep stacking these wins. Yeah, it was great to see Ben. You know, as soon as I came up the stairs, you know, J. Rob had him there on FaceTime. So great to see Ben. I told him I was surprised he's awake. You know, he's an old man and, and usually asleep by nine o'clock. So, um, you know, great to see Ben. You know, wish he was out there with us, but uh, you know, great to get a win and uh, and be able to see him after the game. After the two weeks off, how did you come out of the two games? Oh, good enough. Good enough. You know, I think uh, I think I'll try to take advantage of this this break we have coming up this weekend. I'll heal up as much as I can and, and be ready to go, you know, next Sunday. Thanks, Ryan. Man, felt good on a short week. Um, came in all week, focused, determined. Um, uh, paying attention to the uh, little details, the small things in all three phases. Focused on getting better. Came in a, 
a great environment, hostile environment, and was able to get the win and play the complete game as a team. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's proud of everybody on offense, man, sticking together, um, focus, uh, making plays, uh, just, just being in tune no matter what happened in the game. Ryan did a great job. Receivers did a great job. Alon did a great job blocking tight ends. Um, Tory, you know, Chig and uh, Traylon making big plays for us. Very happy for them, man, making some, making some big plays and some, on some really important – Drives in the game, and um, I'm just happy all around as how everybody played. How good did it feel to jump uh, uh, felt great, man. Um, uh, I got two of them now, so uh, uh, that's three. I thought I was two. Damn. Um, you know, I call myself a young Peyton Manning, so it felt good, and uh, I was happy. Uh, Hoop caught it, and we were able to get a score. What's it like when that play is called in the huddle? I'm like, damn, I got to make it. <laughs> I got to make it. Good thing we were we were, we were running the ball. Um, pretty well, and got him to bite, and he was brought up in the end zone. Yeah, I try to do my best, try to hide as much as I can, and I mean it worked, so we were happy. Oh, you see, you see the, the, the hunger in him. You know, he wants to uh, get in there and do, do do whatever he can to help the team. And I think you've seen that today by the plays he made. Uh, you know, he got that mindset that he wants to be great. And uh, you know he, he works at it every day. Um, we're, we're happy to have him back, and we're happy to see him out there making plays and you know doing what he loves. Um, yeah, I mean we, I mean that's why he's here because he has great talent. <clears throat> Things he did at Arkansas, um, and you know, you know coming here, um, you know, and just trying to come in and, and contribute. That's all you want as a rookie. Like you say, he made he made big plays today. Um, make some very big plays, make some big catches. We're just happy for him. Just happy to see him making plays, and you know we were just rolling on offense. Yeah, I think we, if we just stay focused and uh, continue to be to be locked in, and um, you know just just try to sustain every single drive, sh uh, strain to finish, um, getting first downs, staying in drives, moving down the field, and eventually getting in the end zone. I think we just, just, just keep focus on getting better and improving, you know, and I think as long as we do that, then everything happens the way we want it to. Was it as cold out there as it looked, and is it a little harder to get the depth line? It was definitely colder in 2020, I, I'll tell you that. It, was, it, it wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to be colder, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, this definitely helps. Um, you know, give guys some time off to to heal up, get some rest, um, get away from football for a little bit, and then get right back to it. So, definitely helps. You know, it's week by week, man. Don't get too far ahead. Just, just it's week by week, man. And you know, continue to focus on. Things we need to get better at, and you know, keep pushing each other, keep striving um, to do great things as the offense, and you know, just being tied in together each and every day. You mentioned things from 2009 to 2012 that still motivate you. Is there ever going to be a point where you push that aside and you feel like you know you've proven them wrong, or that's something that's going to continue to drive you? Yeah, I think it's something that's going to continue to to drive me. You know, y'all asked that question, and I said 2009, 2012. Then I go out there on last Sunday and feel like I played terrible, and that motivated me. So, you know, I'm always motivated every single day. I'm constantly thinking, constantly critiquing myself every single day. You know, it, it never stops. So, you know, I just want to be the best I can be to help this team and do whatever I can, you know, to help this team win and be the best player I can be. So I'm always self-critiquing myself always look for something to fuel me and you know, that's how I've always been since I've been playing this game.